In this video, we're going to look at GIMP. Now, GIMP is a huge program, and in one video, I couldn't possibly tell you even one half of what it does. So in this video, let's get started with GIMP, and then let's do some cool things to pictures to get us started in our work. Now, when you open up GIMP, you'll have an empty background and these two floating toolbars. I always love working in single window mode, so go to Windows, single window mode and you'll see that all your tools are now inside GIMP rather than floating. It makes it a lot easier to work. I've got a picture waiting for me of a mountain. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to GIMP and I'm going to paste it. So I just right click on the screen somewhere and choose paste. You can always go to the menu up here and paste as well. Now, we've got our picture inside GIMP. What can we do to it? So let's have a look at some of the tools. Now, commonly, you could just grab a paintbrush and start painting away. That's not what we want to do. We also have a pencil tool. Kind of does the same thing. We've got an eraser tool. We can just erase things. That's really useful sometimes. We don't want to do that today either. What we're going to look at is these four tools up here. These are our selection tools. What they let us do is choose bits of the photograph that we want to copy and put somewhere else, for example. So let's look at these one by one. We've got the rectangle select. What I can do is I can select part of the picture. I can delete that part of the picture. I'll just undo that. Or if we went to image and crop to selection, we can erase everything outside the selection. That's also quite useful if we want to take away stuff from our photos. Next to that, we've got our circular selection or a circle selection. That is exactly the same, so we can delete stuff or equally we can go and crop. And you notice that when we crop in a circle, it still keeps a rectangle. We've got the polygon select, that means a, a selection that we can draw. So what I can do is I can actually draw what I want to keep. I'm doing this really quickly. I could take a little bit more time and make this better. So I could, for example, select only the mountains and delete them. So our selection tools are really, really important. They let us choose bits of the photograph or a picture that we want so that we can either delete it or keep it. The last selection that we've got is one of my favorites. It's the magic wand tool. And what that does is it lets you just click on a part of the picture and it tries to choose everything that's the same color. So for example, if I was trying to delete the sky, I could choose it. Now you can see it's not working so well because the sky is actually made up of a whole bunch of different colors. So let me just undo what I did there. Magic wand tool you're going to use a lot because a lot of times you want to delete backgrounds and other things in your photographs and it's a really fast way of deleting stuff. Now one word about selections. So for example if I make a selection here and then I try to work on another part of my picture it's actually impossible. So let me give you an example of that. I've chosen this area here. I'm going to click on the brush and when I try to paint out here it doesn't work. And the reason for that is when you make a selection in GIMP, GIMP only lets you work inside that box. So it can be really frustrating when you've got a selection and you can't do anything. So for example I want to erase this part of the sky and it doesn't work because of course I can only work inside this rectangle here. The easiest way to get rid of a selection is to click on one of the selection tools and just click outside your picture once. And that will unselect or unchoose that area. Let me show you that again. So I've chosen an area. Now if I want to get rid of that selection, I just go outside and I click once. And that kind of cancels my selection. That's just a really quick look at GIMP, how to open it up, how to get the toolbars where they should be, how to get a picture from the internet into GIMP, and then using some of the tools that are here to do what you want to the picture. So you can cut things out of pictures, erase things out of pictures, so that you can then use that picture 
wherever you want to in whatever project you're doing.